Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back and in today's video we are going to be looking at my favourites for the month of November. It's beginning to look a lot like November. Christmas is just around the corner but yet this year seems to be dragging. Anyone else feeling the same? Anyway, so in this video today I'm going to be talking about some of my favourites that I have enjoyed the last month. But for some of my loyal followers and the eagle-eyed among us, I am sure you'll be able to guess some of them. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, comment down below if you're going to try any of the products that I recommend or indeed have tried them and let me know what you think of them. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one and without further Further ado, let's get into this video. So, a few of you have been commenting on some of my older videos asking for some recommendations for more moisturizers. I know a lot of you are thinking about going into the winter months, what moisturizer should I be putting on my face when it's really, really cold outside? So one of my super hydrating recommendations, if that's what you're looking for, is Aveni. This is a brand that I have loved for a very, very long time. It is very, very cooling. This one is the Hydrance. This is a super duper moisturizing cream. If you are looking for a moisturizer that is very, very cool, is super reactive, it goes straight the skin it's really really good it's definitely this one I will link it down below the only downside is that this is rather expensive I have previously loved it particularly when my skin was at when I was really struggling with my eczema and I loved this you know when I was on holiday and stuff like this and I actually used to buy this very very regularly similarly this is the Aveni Tolerance this is another one that you can see that I have previously loved to use. This is an emulsion. This is a lighter texture one. This is for sensitive and hypersensitive skin. So these two are fantastic, but as I mentioned, you were looking at a much more premium brand of skincare. But if you're looking for a really, really rich moisturizer, then both of these are really good. Although they feel very, very hydrating and um, they absorb really quickly, I feel that you do have to keep reapplying them. So based on that, without a doubt, if you were looking to buy one or the other, I would recommend grabbing yourself some skin salvation if you're looking for something to combat your eczema or something to that's a bit more cheap and is a lot more sustainable because you actually have to apply a lot less of this compared to these. I feel like the nature of these is that you keep wanting to reapply that moisture and suck that moisture in whilst this is a lot more sort of medicinal effects and you actually only need about a fingertip size to do to cover your whole face. The only thing is, is because of this um, being much more of a paste, it takes slightly longer to absorb into the skin whilst this is super quick to absorb. But this is much greater value for money. So if I were going to recommend one over the other, I'd go with this one, particularly as I know that a lot of people have skin conditions where you need something that's going to, to have a lot of longevity and it can be really, really expensive. But I do absolutely love these and I will link both options down below. It is so cold outside. Make sure that you have a hand cream. Lockdown 2 is uh, kind of on the brink in the UK and hand cream is an absolute must. I go to no other hand cream than this one. I've spoken about it many times, I'll link it down below, but I just love this hand cream so, so much. My hands really struggle, particularly with all the hand sanitizers. I'm doing it more and more because the gyms, we're cleaning around the gym so much more, and now we're just into the habit of coming in and washing and scrubbing our hands and I feel like we're quite harsh with it. Um, so that's why I always take my absolute must combination of the Care Lake soap and the Balmain's hand cream wherever I go and I put these both in my handbag. So I will link both of these down below too. <laughs> Let me just look in my makeup bag. Ah, I'm 
my god, I'm so excited to have a makeup bag. I've got a clip. I have a clip to pin back my hair because I'm like, oh, I better just get all my hair off my face ready for my makeup session. So, oh. <laughs> As some of you may know already, I did a video on this brand. This is the Mugu Makeup Range. I'll put a link to the video up and in the description box. So if any of you have already gone out and bought these and tried them, I'm sure you will not be disappointed. Bought two lipsticks and lip liner plus an eyebrow pencil. I'm not actually wearing them just now. I probably maybe should have. That was a bit of an oversight. But I will put that video for you so you can go and watch and see my makeup skills. But these are an absolute must recommendation. But these have been so changing for me and I couldn't be more chuffed with this range and these products. This brand of makeup is completely vegan. I absolutely love it. I love the packaging. It's so nice. It's blue. It's pretty different. My makeup skills are not that fantastic but this brand absolutely is and I couldn't recommend them more. It's really important that we support ethical brands. This is 100% vegan. None of it is tested on animals and it's something that we really really should consider supporting. I am not a fan of animal testing in any sense of the words but these these are a fantastic small Australian brand and I think you should go and check them out. So there we have it guys, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!